Hello and welcome to Humanity Moments. I am Heather Hansen O'Neill and today we have John Kirby. This guy is going to blow you away. He has that heart-centered humanity focus and I can't wait to introduce him to you. I really want to talk to you specifically about your personal philosophy of humanity and how that has helped you in business and in life. Mm -hmm. Do we have a couple of hours? I feel like I could. <laughs> and you have talk three about minutes. Go. For no. a while. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Um, yeah, you know, from a humanity standpoint, Heather, I just, I, I really believe at my core in every interaction that I have. Um, you know, I think as humans, I think our, our job is just to leave things better than we found them. Um, I think, you know, in that, in that spirit, it's something that we can always work on. Uh, it's something that we can fail at, you know, so there's, there is constantly that opportunity to learn. You love leaving things better than they were. Right. And so, um, I think that feeling that element, a human centric feeling part of it has a lot to do with it. Well, you know, um, I think it was Maya Angelou that said, you know, that that when you're gone, people aren't going to remember how much money you made, how many deals you close, uh, what the size of your bank account was. They're going to remember how you made them feel. Right. Um, and, you know, there's a really interesting theory in events in particular called the peak end rule. Mm-hmm. And basically what it says is that people remember two things when they go to an event. They remember how they felt at the emotional climax of that event, you know, the crescendo, whether it was a keynote speaker or a team building event or something service oriented. And they remember how they felt at the end. John just got done with his handing over the baton for his presidency in uh, the MPI organization. He was on the board and he did an amazing job because he was living the philosophies that we're talking about right now. Would you like to share a little bit about that experience, John? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, it really was a great experience and uh you know, we talked earlier in our or early in our, our call about, um, you know, what it is to be a president of a volunteer board. Uh, you know, what a unique experience that is. And what we need is leadership. We need somebody who can take a passionate group of individuals and point them in a direction, you know, that will serve the needs of our chapter, the needs of global Uh, And as I began to think about it, really the needs of our members is that when you can articulate that to a board and, you know, another group of volunteers that are as passionate about, you know, helping as you are and giving of their time the same way that you are, um, you feel more obligated to show up for them in the ways that, that matter most for them to make the difference. And we've hit on so many different points. As we close this up, do you have any suggestions for people out there who are watching, who are listening, who are getting inspired to either shift the way that they're thinking or or something that you would recommend that they do differently just to dip their toe into that humanity element? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, listen, I, I, I think one of the one of the biggest things uh, that I think I was able to impart on my board and something that's really led me for several years, and I think that this goes to the heart of what humanity and business is all about, is um, don't get stuck on what you can't do. Be solution oriented. Um, you know, I have said for a long time, if you talk to any uh, of the people that have ever worked on my teams, there is a thing that I tell them all the time. And that is for every one minute that we spend on a problem, I want to spend two minutes focused on a solution. And we had uh, three people that were members of our chapters. They just weren't attending and they saw how our people acted together. And they were like, I, we want, I want what you have. I want to be a part of this. You know, you care about each other. You care about showing up. And I think that that, that's the beauty of 
humanity and volunteer service when you're working in business, you know, that, that you're lucky if you have a job that makes you happy, but service is what gives you life. It's what puts breath in your lungs. It's what makes you want to get up in the morning. To, to end on, that's perfect. That's perfect. So I appreciate you and everyone out there listening. Let's shift over to solutions and take it from John to come from that place of servant leadership. Appreciate your time and have a beautiful day. Yeah, Heather, you too. Thanks again for having me on. If you enjoyed this week's Humanity Moment, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any episodes. You'll find the link below.